Case in point, let's look at the regimes. There are three types of feedback. One is called instant, the moment the event happens. So for example, you say something like, that was a great pitch. I'd like to see it again next week. Instant feedback is effective when you want the learning to happen immediately. Because when the moment is fresh, the action is still very emotional. It sinks in deeper to the minds and hearts of the, folks, of the folks. Second type is by demand. By demand feedback is you don't only give feedback to your people, you let your people ask for feedback. And say something like, hey boss, do you have 30 minutes today? Can I ask you out for coffee? Can I ask you out for a phone call on Viber? I need to share something important. That's by demand. Okay. And finally, number three, which I think is the most uh, used because it's the only reason for compliance by HR, is what we call as scheduled. So scheduled is it happens either monthly, quarterly. For most companies, it happens once a year or twice a year. So it's part of the discussion for the development and career plan. Here's where I am most disappointed. I often notice most companies only do scheduled feedback giving. They don't do by demand. They don't do instant. And that is across from the CEO down to the managers. Can I please ask the participants in the chat box, which of these three do you apply in your company today? Letter I, instant, D, demand, S, scheduled. If you happen to do all three, type all the three initials. Okay, let's see. Let's look at your answers. And I want you to reflect, right? Are you the type? So for me, I'm a biggest fan of instant feedback. You should never wait to give that feedback next week or next month because the emotions have already been lost. Most feedback are emotionally charged because some people will take it personally, whether it's celebrating success or celebrate or highlighting that someone was missing performance in their presentation.